Good morning student. Today we are going to learn about noun. What is a noun? A noun is a naming word. What do you mean? Well, you see everything in the world has a name and that name is a noun. I don't understand. Look at this. What do you see? A ball, a pencil, a chair. Good. Ball, pencil, chair. These are name of things. They are nouns. Boy, girl, teacher, police officer. These are names of different people. They are noun too. Tiger, dolphin, dog, spider. These are name of animals. And they are nouns. That's right. A noun is a naming word. It names people, animals, things, places. Places? Yes. For example, park. Park is a name of place. It's a noun. So, nouns are the names of people, animals, places and things. Not only people, places, animals, things, but everything. Even the things that you can't see directly. For example, love, health and happiness. Just remember, everything has a name. And that name is a noun. In other words, noun is a naming word. Yes, it is. But your name is a special noun. It's called a proper noun. A proper? Yes, a proper noun. There are different types of nouns such as common, proper, abstract and collective. Would you like to learn about them all? Yes, I like. Okay. Look here. You are a boy. Boy is a noun. You are Ramesh. Ramesh is a noun too. Boy is a common noun. It doesn't talk about one specific person. You can use the noun boy about any boy. A Ramesh, everyone can't be Ramesh. Ramesh is a name of particular boy. Ramesh is a proper noun. Let's see some more examples. Mountain is a common noun. It means any mountain. Mount Everest is a proper noun. It's a special name given to the one particular mountain. Similarly, river is a common noun and Ganga is a proper noun. Doll is a common noun. Barbie is a proper noun. Girl is a common Mina is a proper noun. That's right. Dog is a common Tommy is a proper noun. Tommy is my pet dog name. You got it, Ramesh. Common noun and proper noun are no problem for you. But what about abstract noun and collective? Look at these two words. Can you see and touch apple? Yes. Can you see and touch love? No. There you are. Love is an abstract noun. Abstract noun are names for things you can't see or touch. You can only feel or understand them. They are names given to ideas or feelings. Here are some abstract nouns. Love, friendship, joy, happiness, health, pain, fear, birth, childhood, knowledge. Hmm? I think I get it. I can see and touch a flower. So it's not an abstract noun. I can feel its beauty. So beauty is an abstract noun. Am I right? Absolutely. Flower is a common noun. Beauty is an abstract noun. Okay. 
Now what about collective nouns? A collective noun is a name given to a group of people, animals or things. For example, a team of players, a flock of birds, a herd of elephants, a pride of lions, a school of fish, a fleet of ships. A bunch of flowers? That's right, a bunch of flowers, all these words like team, flock, herd, bunch refers to group of something. They are collective nouns. Wait, there is one more thing you need to know about nouns. What is that? Some nouns are countable and some nouns are uncountable. Can you explain that? Yes, of course. Can you count how many? Yes. One, two, three, four, X. Good. You can count X. So X is a countable noun. If you can count something, it's countable. Now, can you count water? No. Can you count air? No. Can you count music? No. So, they are all uncountable nouns. Okay, now I understand. Sand is an uncountable, isn't it? That's right, sand is uncountable. It doesn't have a plural. It doesn't have what? Noun can be singular or plural. Singular or plural? Singular or plural? Singular means one. Plural means more than one. For example? For example, a dog, two dogs. A chair, three chairs. A kite, many kites. Oh, it's easy. Just add the little s to make noun plural. Well, with most nouns, you add s to the end of the word to make it plural. To some nouns, you have to add es. There are nouns that have different word in the plural form. Some nouns have the same word for both singular or plural. Thank you, sir.